We'd like to welcome Cantor Yisrael Rant, the chief cantor of Ramat Gan and one of the leading cantors in the world. Cantor and singer Yossi Schwartz, a senior teacher at the Central Cantorial School in Petach Tikva, and Moti Hasfari, the founder and CEO of J Vocals. Uh, Yisrael Rant, I know you have recently celebrated 30 years of professional cantorial singing and that you're considered one of the top cantors in the world. How do you sum up 30 years of a career in cantorial work? Uh, it's a bit uh, difficult to conclude 30 years in two minutes of, a two minutes of answer, but um, you know, I feel privileged that uh, I made people smile during my career, uh, and I enjoyed every moment, every second on stage, backstage. Uh, I can say only it's a beautiful profession to use your talent, and uh, that's it. Great. Well, Yossi, it's interesting. You're coming into the field now, and uh, what is required, do you think, today of a cantor in 2020 that's different than what Yisrael might have experienced in the past? Good question. Actually, I'm not coming now in the field. I start very young. My first, first time on stage was nine years ago uh, when I was 19. I started early. The first time I was singing actually is with this guy, Israel Rand, when I was 16 and a half. I was a yeshiva zucher, as they call yeshiva bucher. I come from yeshiva. I had a hat and a jacket. And I came and I told Israel, I know how to sing. I want to sing. He took me up to his room in Ramat Gan, the great synagogue. Sing, I listen. Okay, come sing with me. Anyways, in 2020, it's, it's different. First of all, we need to understand that cantorial music is uh, many years ago. Started, and the music is like classical style from the last 100 years. Today, people listen to different music. And if you want to get the audience connect with what you're singing and connect to fila, you need to um, make it more 2020, to have songs they know, to make them sing together. I think also today we have less uh, synagogues, they have a choir and a cantor together. So we need to know how to get the people sing together with you and be part of this, uh, I don't know, uh, experience and to enjoy it. So this is the thing. Moti, um, tell us a little bit about J Vocals, the online marketplace for cantors, choirs, singers and more. What does uh, J Vocals do and how did you come about establishing it? <laughs> okay, thank you for the question. So to begin with, these two were two of my teachers. I'm a cantor myself as, uh, as a hobby, mainly in the high holidays. Uh, my main career is through uh, international uh, companies such as uh, Fast Moving Consumer Goods, Philip Morris, Red Bull, uh, Mars Chocolate. No relation whatsoever to cantorial singing uh, and also technology. I was the CEO of Get Taxi. Um, but then I saw that there is a fault of uh, meeting, the, the demand couldn't meet the, uh, the supply. So you see lots of young talents in the market finishing the cantorial institutes in Israel and around the world and are struggling to find the positions, permanent positions, and they are wonderful talents. So I came up, uh, I took my professional uh, background along with my cantorial passion uh, to cantorial music and I combined the both. And we came up with a beautiful uh, platform, online platform, which is a marketplace, such as in any other uh, field like uh, insurance, like in uh, professional services, in hotels. Um, and it's about time to have uh, an online marketplace so you can search, compare, and even book a cantor uh, or a singer or a band it's that easy, jvocals.com. Amazing. Now, Israel, thinking about a new website and technology, tell me, how are you using technology today in your cantorial role? Uh, first of all, as a, an old-fashioned uh, cantor, so it was for me quite difficult to get used to this new platform because I remember somebody wanted me for a Shabbat service or concert. I had the phone number at home, and later, 20 years ago, my cell phone. And now uh, Moti made it so, so easy. I don't even, I don't even have to, to, to answer the phone. I just get it on the internet, and everything uh, in front of me. So easy, easy going. Easy peasy. Yep. Um, Yossi, um, tell us: uh, Is cantorial music still attractive to audiences outside of uh, synagogues? I think yes and no. It depends where and how. 
Uh, part of the thing is that um, since after, after the Holocaust, people were really uh, missing the sound of the synagogue and the sound of the music they used to hear back at home. And they wanted to hear it again. So a lot of people came and we had a lot of concerts. Today it's a bit different. And as I said, in 2020, you need a change. So sometimes, like before high holidays or special occasions, people want to connect and to listen to the old cantorial music. But if you want today to get audience, you need to have something, again, more 2020, something together with musicals, with pieces that is actually fits the music that people hear today. But as a voice, cantors usually have nice voice. Today in the pop music, you don't need to have voice. You need to know how to play and to give a good song. It's not always about the voice. The cantorial music is still about the voice. So we can do a lot of things. Interesting. And Moti, tell me, we're living in the era of the coronavirus crisis. Definitely, as we go into the high holidays, the world of the cancer, the synagogue is going to look different. Tell me what you expect this year. Yeah, so definitely the high holidays of uh, 2020 will look different. Uh, many cantos are losing their jobs and um, they need to uh, um, 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 settle for much less, if, if at all. Um, we, during the corona, made two wonderful musical productions. One was before the Independence Day, the 72nd Independence Day of Israel. We came out with uh, 19 cantos from around the world that got together remotely, definitely each one set his, at his home. And they all sang and prayed the famous uh, prayer for uh, the State of Israel, Avinu Sheba Shamayim Tzur Israel Vagoalo by Sol Zim. Three weeks after that, we came out uh, before the Jerusalem Day with 16 female cantors singing the famous song of Nomi Shemer, Yerushalayim Shel Zahav. Now, because uh, congregations will still not get together for the high holidays, we're coming up with musical production solutions for virtual services, but also for communities that want to elevate um, uh, the services and, and, and bring the hearts together. So we're doing uh, uh, plenty of musical productions, mainly in the US. So I think at least this is the, the, the tool that maybe can connect communities and congregants together. Wonderful. Well, we wish you so much luck in that, and we hope that it all comes together and that the high, holiday, high holidays are elevated as everybody hopes. Shabbat shalom and thank you. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.